Last year, water companies spilled sewage into UK rivers over 660,000 times, putting humans, animals and the planet at risk. But why is this happening and how do we stop this once and for all? Watch this video to find out. Britain's sewage system, built during the time of Queen Victoria, is decaying and is no longer fit for purpose. This video will explain the sewage crisis, highlight the plight of our rivers and suggest sustainable solutions for a superior sewage system. First, however, we must understand how the UK's waste network actually works. Britain's sewage system is called a combined system because toilet waste and rainwater runoff flow into the same network. When sewage enters a treatment plant, filters remove big solids from the wastewater. These include wet wipes and sanitary products, both of which should not be flushed down the toilet. The sewage then passes through a second, smaller filter for particles such as grit, sand and dust. After the filtration process, the wastewater is then stored in large tanks to remove urea and feces. Sludge is formed when gravity drags down the dense organic matter to the bottom of the tank, whilst liquid water remains near the top. This sludge is treated separately and is used to make methane and fertilizers. However, most of the water is still contaminated with fats, proteins and other organic matter. In order to break down these substances, bacteria are grown in the water, aided by a flow of oxygen. The water is now relatively clean and is safely returned to the river. If too much water flows into the sewage network, the water could overflow, potentially causing raw waste to well up in people's homes. There are two ways to deal with this issue. Increase the capacity of waste treatment plants or divert some of the water into rivers. However, because many water companies are in debt, Thames Water alone has £14 billion worth of it, there is a lack of investment in sewage infrastructure. This means that more and more wastewater is diverted into rivers to deal with increased capacity, and much of this wastewater is raw sewage. But why is this an issue? Sewage in rivers can cause a plethora of illnesses, including gastroenteritis, hepatitis and cholera. Moreover, wastewater depletes oxygen levels by causing eutrophication, where a layer of algae prevents sunlight from entering the river, thus destroying entire ecosystems. The following sobering statistic sums it all up. Of England's rivers, only 0.002% are deemed safe to swim in. Now that we understand the true scale of Britain's sewage crisis, how do we go about solving it? First and foremost, water companies must invest more into waste infrastructure to increase capacity and improve efficiency. This should be accompanied by government regulation to prevent the discharge of sewage into rivers. Aside from these obvious solutions, there are some innovative ideas that aim to collect rainfall where it falls to delay water entering the sewers, thus reducing the risk of a sudden surge in capacity. For example, stormwater can be collected in tanks or artificial lakes. In cities, we can utilise urban greening to reduce surface runoff and in the countryside, we can create artificial wetlands to control water flow. To learn more about Urban Greening, click on the card appearing on your screen now. Moreover, some housing estates can install swales. Swales are narrow ditches that collect rainwater, which ensures that it drains into the ground at a slow rate. But if you're wondering how you can play a part in solving the sewage crisis, then you might want to consider installing a water butt. Water butts are containers connected to domestic drain pipes and collect water when it rains. Whilst this water, now known as grey water, is not safe to drink, it can be used for gardening, for pond filling and for flushing the toilet. Our rivers are in a dismal state, but it does not have to be this way. Individuals, corporations and governments 
must take action because no one likes filthy, disease-ridden and sewage-filled rivers. There is light at the end of the sewage tunnel. All we have to do now is to enlarge it.